Montaigne Goat, January is upon us and the CBI will have the 31 days to reinstate starting on Jan. First the clock will tick, tick-tock, tick-tock. If not, they will miss yet another window of opportunity to RV this time and the saga continues. Mark Z, via PDK. I am worried it will not be done by Christmas. That is still the goal. Rumors are the expectations for announcements are within the next few days. I have heard this for so many Christmases though, I am hesitant to share it with you all. But I have never before heard it from so many different sources that are not affiliated with each other. From military sources, banking sources, bond sources, a paymaster source, all from different cities, locations, and countries, there really is so much coming together at one time. I am optimistic and excited. Sandy Ingram, just because Iraq is not on the Forex market, does not mean they are not creating a Forex market chart. The CBI on paper has the control over the RV but in reality what happens in the country, economy, political stability, citizen happiness, discontent, determines CBI's reality. Claire article. Parliamentary. Signatures to hold an extraordinary session to discuss the rise in dollar prices, quote, a number of deputies demanded, on Monday, to hold an extraordinary session to discuss the rise in the exchange rate of the dollar and its impact on citizens. Frank 26 article, The Central Banks Measures Deepen the Dollar Crisis and Extend American Hands to Create Unrest, the CBI removes corruption and neutralizes the auctions. The auctions are gone, it is important for you to Understand this principle, the auctions were given to the CBI for what reason? So Iraq could take the oil that they sell in American dollars and convert it into Iraqi dinars so they can run their country but they didn't. They took the money that came in as American dollar for oil and instead of going in the right direction, the evil ones took it straight to Iran. Pimpy the changes to the Iraqi dinar exchange rate it's not going to come from the media. al Sadani, President. Rashid, the coordinating framework. Nobody gives a rat's patootie on what they say because it holds no water. It has to come from the Rothschild-owned central bank, until we hear it from their central bank that the exchange rate is, this, stop listening to those other people out there. Blow spoke up your butt Bruce, via Wiser now, based on the information that we have, we should get notified tomorrow and get started, either tomorrow afternoon or evening as exchanges or start on Thursday. Now, I cannot absolutely call it, but this is as close to it as I can get, because of the fact that the bondholders were paid, and were sent their emails of liquidity, were right on their tails. Right behind him 12 to 24 hours later. Walking stick. Via. Frank 26. The international platforms have replaced the auctions at the CBI. Once the IQD starts to. Go international in a basket it is automatically cancelling the CBI auctions where Iran was. Siphoning Iraq's blood through their currencies. The only swap from now on will be with the US. Dollar, no more auctions. It will be a governing function instead. Mark Z, via PDK, talks between Iraq's federal and Kurdistan regions over the 2023 budget have been fruitful so far. I am told once. They finalize that we are hours away from a value change. Frank 26 article, economic advisor to the Prime Minister outlines the reasons for the rise in dollar prices, the exchange rate of the dollar against the IQD will teeter-totter. There is a reason this fluctuation is happening. Because you de pegged, lost the stability. How are we going to get it back? We're going to pair. Bruce, via Wiser now, Redemption Center staff had meetings, and yeah all the players are on the initial call. Treasury Secretary Minukin, Judy Shelton, other key figures and then I believe the later calls were probably with the six major banks, international banks, I know. 
They did finally settle in on a contract rate on the dinar which I cannot disclose, but it's quite high. Remember, Dr. Shabibi of Iraqi's central bank, when he spoke to the International Chamber of Commerce in Washington, D.C. in 2012, and he gave that rate. We've had confirmation that the big screens had indeed exceeded that rate. This is going to be a life-changing event for us.